Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today we have a special guest with us. Uh, we have Charlie Hillbilly Bryant here, uh, and he is a great, phenomenal world class player, and he's become my new pool coach. And we are with Brutal Game Gear now, uh, his new apparel line. Uh, so, what are we going to talk about today? Well, you was asking me a little question about you was having trouble with slight cuts. Uh, we've done a well, we've done about a three hour lesson today so far of different yes, things I've shown you. And then I like to call things the rifle. Now the question that, well a lot of things that you see with amateur pool players is they want to sit up here and shoot balls like this. So they'll sit here and you'll see their eyes moving with their stroke and then they sit here and shoot this ball like this. I call that shooting pool with a shotgun because you, you never give your eyes a chance to focus on a focus point. Well the next thing, I, when I mean a rifle, we play with three circles, guys. You know, so the highest point on top of this circle should be the center. Yes, sir. So I use the highest point on top of this circle as to find my vertical axis. So when I'm telling somebody to shoot the rifle, well, what also I'm trying to tell them is that we play with a circular cue. It's just long and tapered. So the three physical centers would be the three highest points on top of those circles. Yes, sir. So when you was just shooting a shot while ago, did you notice how you was to the right of center? Yes, sir. So this is what me and you are getting ready to try to fix. So as you're shooting with your rifle, you line up the three centers, but also you need to be able to pause to shoot that rifle and not play pool with the shotgun. So you come up here, you line up your three centers and shoot the shot. When you're straight in the pocket, you might follow the ball straight in. <laughs> <laughs> so would you like to try that, young man? Yes, yeah, sir. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn to one straight up and down so it's a little bit easier for you to see. And I got the ball straight in. So line up to three centers. Line up my three centers. Well, what Jaden has a tendency to do is to be a little bit right of center. So the highest point on top of this circle, line it up through the highest point on the top of this circle to the highest point on top of this circle, sir. Okay, you still made the ball because you was just barely off, but how do you like that side picture? Do you feel like you can see the three centers better? I can definitely see it better. I feel like I have something to look at now. Woo! I have something to look at other than just guessing, hey, I'm straight in. I'll take the line up my three centers. Pause. Look at that. All into the pocket. So the next thing you was asking me about, Jaden, was you're having trouble with slack cuts. Yes, sir. Okay. So do me a favor. Find your ghost ball point at six feet. You got it? Yes, sir. Okay, so go ahead and approach the shot. So bring that ghost ball point up to somewhere in the outer perimeter of this circle because you'll have a better sight. You'll have an easier aim point to see. So you find your ghost ball point down here, so it probably comes real close to right there at the left edge of that circle, don't it? Yes, sir. And then if you need to, go ahead and do it again. So find your point at about six feet back. Got it? And move to the cue ball, and whatever point you found here, just transfer it up into your circle. So line up your back side, which is the top of your ferrule, through the top of the cue ball at your target point. Is that easier? That's very, that's very easy. <laughs> oh, good, buddy, good. So what are we working on next? Same shot. Well, well, today what this video was about, guys, is I wanted to teach y'all how to find the rifle. Okay? Yes, sir. So this is Charlie Bryant, Mr. Jaden Dupree, Dupree with Brutal Game Gear. Thank y'all for watching, guys.